So the Charizard Terror Raids are kicking off between the 1st and the 4th of December, and they'll be the first 7-star raids. So in case you don't know, Charizard will be Dragon type, and it will have the Mightiest Mark title, if you can catch it. But it is going to be really tough. Now with that said, here are the two best Pokemon for the job, in my opinion, and how to use them. So the first is Azumarill, but I'm actually going to tell you not to use it. So if you've seen other videos similar to this one, then you would have seen Azumarill everywhere. It's expected to be the best Pokemon for these raids, hands down, and uh, I totally agree. <laughs> but I did just say not to use it, so uh, what's that all about? Well, you can absolutely use it, and I will briefly go over how to use it so that you can at least understand how a zoom rule works, and then also hopefully see why I believe that there is a better alternative that you will see much more success using. So this is the set. It's your standard belly drum Azumarill. You get the drum off and then you score the big super effective damage with Play Rough. Uh, of course, Azumarill resists Charizard's fire moves and is immune to any dragon moves that it might throw out. You only need belly drum and Play Rough for this set. The other two moves are filler. You're not really gonna want the, uh, the water moves on this since it's gonna be a dragon type Charizard. You could throw in either Ice Spinner or Ice Punch if you want a move that's 100% accurate, if you're getting towards the end of the raid, for example, and the time is ticking down and it's close, and you don't wanna miss your moves, you could go for those. But belly drum, play rough, you definitely want those. Make sure that your ability is huge power to also get that massive attack buff that it provides. And you ideally want the fairy terror type as well. So item wise, give it a shed shell as this will actually heal Azumarill every turn for massive amounts of damage, especially if you hit with those boosted moves. Remember that the aim of the game is to not get KO'd just as much as it is to actually KO the Charizard. Shout out to Osiris over on his channel for the item suggestion. This is definitely going to be a staple of Azumarill going forwards. So yeah, that's Azumarill. Uh, get set up and just go ham with Play Rough. Of course, make sure your Azumarill is level 100 or at least very close to it as well. So yeah, that's the Aqua Rabbit Pokemon for you. Everyone and their dog will be running Azumarill. In fact, I can pretty much guarantee that you will see way more Azumarill than any other Pokemon throughout the event, and that includes Charizard as well. Speaking of which, some high level terror raids have proven to be a bit more nuanced than just smacking the Pokemon until it goes down. And I fully believe Charizard is not going to be so simple to dispatch. So at the moment, no one knows what moves Charizard will have, but it does have the tools to actually threaten Azumarill. So chiefly, it has access to Thunder Punch and Solar Beam, uh, the latter of which is boosted by solar power in the sun. And I feel very confident in saying that Charizard will have a sunny day. I'm also willing to bet we'll see Will-O-Wisp, which would cripple Azumarill, especially since raid bosses can erase stat boosts as well. And that's why I say, dear viewer, don't use Azumarill. Instead, support the masses that will. And that's where Screaming Tail comes in. This thing is like Liam Neeson in Taken. It has a very particular set of skills that we're gonna utilize in this raid battle. So this thing is just speed and bulk personified. It's base 111 speed, meaning it naturally outspeeds Charizard, which is absolutely crucial. And on top of that, it's a fairy type and has access to both Rain Dance and Misty Terrain slash Safeguard. It doesn't get Safeguard, but I'm grouping those two moves together since they do essentially the same thing in blocking status. So no other Pokemon has this combination of traits. So if you use Screaming Tail, the first thing you'll want to do in the raid battle is set up Misty Terrain immediately. Since you'll be outspeeding Charizard, you can block any Will-O-Wisps or secondary burns from fire moves that will be heading towards your Azumarill's. Next, go for the light screen, assuming it's a special Charizard. If we do see physical Charizard, then you can replace light screen with Reflect. From there, use Rain Dance to overwrite Sunny Day and always prioritize this over any other move. So if Charizard does set up Sunny Day on the first turn, don't go for your light screen, just set up the rain and go for your screen later. Remember that Screaming Tail doesn't resist fire and the rain will weaken those moves, plus it will also remove the solar power boost and it will stop Solar Beam from being a one turn charge to threaten your resume rules again. I can't stress enough how crucial it is that you keep Rain Dance up and Misty Terrain up. And lastly, there's Howl on this set to support your Azumarill's when they don't have their boosts or if they're running something like an Assault Vest or something else and they're, and they're not running the standard Belly Drum set. Screaming Tail doesn't have healing of its own, so you'll have to play it smart with the heal cheer. But played correctly, you shouldn't have to heal often anyway. 
Here's a sample Eevee spread that I'll be using, and of course, get your Pokemon to level 100 if possible. Now, I do think that you can win with four Azumarils, but I reckon it will be quite frustrating and a bit like banging your head against the wall again and again and again, especially once you factor in those potential Willow Wisps, the potential super effective damage coming into Azumarill. I think that support is needed, and if you go with the Screaming Tail set, it will give you much faster results. You just got to be willing to step into the role of the supporter rather than just trying to smash your way through like everyone else. And remember, the Azumarils may be the ones doing the damage, but you're the one that's actually enabling them to do that damage. And that's why I say don't go with Azumarill because there's going to be no short supply of them. Instead, support those Azumarill, you Screaming Tail, and I think this is the set to do it. And that's it. Let me know what you think, guys. Will you be using a zoom rule? Will you be using Screaming Tail? Will you be using something else? I've just realized it's not even called Screaming Tail, it's called Screen Tail. But anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this useful. Leave a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.